In this snippet, we'll take a look at viewing text files while working within the terminal here in Fedora. To begin with, I'll log in to the operating system and open up the terminal by selecting Applications, System Tools, and then Terminal. Once the terminal is open, I'm going to navigate here to my desktop. And on my desktop, I've got the two files that I want to work with, the preamble and the US Constitution. So I'm going to go ahead and type in CD, capital D, ESK, TOP for desktop. <clears throat> and now I'm working within the desktop. And if I run the LS command, I can see that I've got the files working with here on my desktop. So the first command I want to use to view the actual text files is going to be the cat command, which is short for concatenate. Uh, and this is going to basically bring in the text from the file and pull it in here to the terminal. So I'm going to type in cat, space, and then the name of the file that I want to open up, which is going to be preamble. I hit enter, and we can see that we've uh, taken in the preamble of the U.S. Constitution. And it, it just kind of imported it, or it's taken it, put it here in the terminal for us to work with. I still have my command interface to work with. Um, and so this kind of brings in the file. Now if I bring in a large file such as the US Constitution, I'll go ahead and type in cat and then the US Constitution <clears throat> and then go ahead and hit enter. And you're going to see what happens is uh, this was quite long and it scrolled immediately to the bottom and back to a command interface. Uh, and so I'm scrolling up here at the moment. Uh, and this is how the cat command actually opens it up with a concatenate command. Um, it works great for smaller text files, but if you're wanting to work with larger files, more than likely you want to work with the less command. So we're going to go ahead and use that now. So I'll type in less and then preamble. And you can see what this command does. It actually just lets you work with the text of the file um, at, at that you're opening. And if you look here, it's told me that I'm at the end and all I can see is the actual text. Now to leave this and go back to the command interface, I actually type the letter Q to quit. And now you can see that I'm back to the command interface. So let's go ahead and use a larger file like the US Constitution. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can see this is actually still left me at the top of my file. This is the beginning here of the US Constitution with the preamble and then back into the articles and sections. And you can see that it tells me here at the bottom the file that I'm working with. Now I can hit the space bar and I can continue to navigate down through the file. Uh, as I go through, I can also use the page down and navigate a page down at a time or the page up to go back up a page. And eventually it will take me here to the end and I can see the word end. And then Q to quit it will take me back to the command line interface. And the last file last command that I want you to work with or to instruct you on is the more command. And I'll go ahead and type in more and we'll work with the preamble first. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can see what the more command is done here. The preamble is it's just loaded it in similar to the way the cat command has. Let's go ahead and work with a larger file now with the more command. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you can see this one treats it a little bit different than the cat command. And actually, what it's done is it's given us the very beginning of the file to work with and just told us how much of the file we currently are working with, 4% of it. Now, if I do hit the space bar key on this one, it'll go ahead and navigate down for me, which is kind of a nice way to read this. I'm currently at 9%. And the farther I keep going down, every time I hit the space bar, it takes me down a page here at a time. And I can basically navigate through this until... I have reached the end, and I'll hold the spacebar down, there we go, and it took me to the end of the file. So these are the three commands to use to view text files while working within the file system uh, in the terminal here, right here in Linux.